Hello and welcome to How to Use a Weber. My name is Terry Bork and I'm a divorce mom of two amazing teenagers. I became involved in social media marketing because an income cap was placed on me by corporate America and the only way for me to provide for my family and be, do, and have everything that I wanted was to forge my own path and that's what I'm doing. This is video five in our seven part series on how to set up your AWeber account. If you've missed any of the previous tutorials, please review those before you move on with this one. When you complete the seven tutorials, you should have your email campaign set up and ready to go. To review what we've done so far and where we're going, let's take a peek. We initially started out by giving you an overview of why you would want to have an AWeber account and then we set you up with one. Then we created an opt-in list, uh, an opt-in list, and uh, a confirmation email. From there, we went on to create follow-up messages. Now we're going to create our broadcast message. After that, we're going to create a web form, and finally, we'll become an affiliate with a Weber, so that when we share a Weber with other people, we can generate an additional stream of revenue for ourselves. So let's talk about creating broadcast messages. If you remember on our last tutorial, I shared with you the difference between a follow-up message and a broadcast message. And as you'll see as we progress through, there's really not much of a difference in setting up the two. So let's go ahead over to our AWeber account right now. And you'll see right here we're in our follow-up message area for Barkery. What we're going to do is come back up to the blue area up on top and instead of clicking on follow up, we're going to click on broadcast. And then what we're going to do is actually click this gr big green box that says create broadcast messages. Now what you're going to notice is that it's going to look exactly the same as it did for follow up. And for this, I'm just going to personalize it with just some silly information. I'm going to use my first name fix. I'm going to delete what's in front of first name fix. And I'm going to say um, my broadcast. Okay, and then I'm going to come down um, to my plain text area and I'm going to type in, you know, my message. Hello, um, and I'm going to personalize it with my first name fix, comma. And I'm just going to write here that um, this is a broadcast message. Okay, now this is where it's exactly the same. What's going to change is when we come down below. Okay, again, I'll have the opportunity to attach a file. Now here's where it gets different, the schedule. I can send immediately or I can send later. Let's talk about the two differences. If I want to send immediately, that means I'm creating this message right now and I want to get it right out. So I might, it might be early this morning, it might be 7 o'clock in the morning, and tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I might have a webinar going on that I'm really excited to share with my group who has dogs that bark. So I want to tell them about the upcoming webinar later on this evening. So I'm going to send an email immediately to get it out there, and then I may come back in again and create another email to send out at noon to remind them of the webinar in the evening, and then I might come back even later after that, um, half an hour before, and say, hey, don't forget, tonight's our webinar at such and such a time, and here's your special link. So I can, like I said, send immediately, or click on send later, and then I'm going to enter in the date. I can just simply select the date of my event, and then the time that I'm going to be holding the event, and I can select um, the exact time. Okay, next I'm going to send to segment. This is great. I have an opportunity to send to all my subscribers, people who added today, people who joined me yesterday, people who joined within the last seven days, 30 days, last year, or any active subscriber. So I can send to anybody on the list. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as all subscribers. The next thing that's really cool about sending your broadcast message is I can include or exclude other lists. Now as you start to grow your lists, it's going to become quite time consuming to send the same email message to multiple lists. 
So you can click on this box right here and it'll actually give you a listing of all of your current um, lists that you've created and you can either include all of them or you can include certain ones and you can exclude all the others. Um, the choice is, is up to you. Okay, so that would be, that's a, an awesome feature. Again, you're going to want to track the clicks. You want to know how many people are opening up the email that you're sending out. So this is a great way to help you track. And lastly, um, you can publish it to your RSS feed if you've set one up. Okay, so you can just save your message and it's going to come right out and it's going to go out here. All right, and you'll see that um, I, um, it's going to go out to my messages and when I push Q it's going to automatically go at the designated time but again before I actually have it go I'm going to come over and do my test like I've done on my first one I'm going to enter my information just to make sure everything is working correctly if it's not I can actually go back into my broadcast and and fix what I want to say okay um, and then, you know, if I don't like it, I can delete it. But if I hit Q, it's going right out at that specific time that I asked it to go. And that tells you all about setting up your broadcast message. As you can see, um, AWeber has made the process really easy for you. It's really user friendly. Okay, so like I said, that sums up how to send a broadcast message. I thank you very much for taking part in this class. Um, this was actually the shortest tutorial that we have. The next one for creating a web form is going to be just a little bit longer, um, but that is a very important class. I look forward to seeing you over there. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My number 813-863-1452. And if you found this video to be of value, please share it with a friend. This is Terry Bork. Until we meet again, make it a great day.